This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Francis Wang. Crews are working to repair a broke broken sewer main that is spilling raw sewage into the Rio Vista neighborhood again. This is the same pipe that ruptured just over a week ago. Officials say a previous repair may have increased the pressure within the pipe causing this new break. They are asking people to avoid the area if possible. The judge overseeing the trial of confessed Marjorie Stoneman Douglas shooter Nicholas Cruz is agreeing to delay the trial. For months, the defense had been pleading for more time to prepare. The judge warned that this is not an indefinite delay, and although there is no exact trial date, the judge warned Cruz's attorneys that she won't let the delay go beyond the summer. The defense says the prosecution has identified at least 1,000 witnesses and the defense needs to interview them all. Cruz has offered to plead guilty if the death penalty is taken off the table. The prosecution has refused. New details this morning involving a mystery in Broward County. The Broward Sheriff's Office has found the homeless man seen on surveillance video being attacked at a gas station near Fort Lauderdale. Kevin Lee was tracked down at a convenience store in Lauderdale Lakes. Doctors are now treating him at a hospital. Video from Tuesday shows two men ambushing Lee and wrapping a chain around his neck. Those two attackers were quickly arrested on Tuesday. Florida Congresswoman Donna Shalala is co-sponsoring a bill taking aim at college athletics. Now the idea creates a congressional commission to oversee the NCAA. Shalala wants to look at how universities spend federal money on athletics. She also wants to explore the physical and mental well-being of college athletes. Shalala was president of the University of Miami when the NCAA investigated the school. It concluded that the university lacked institutional control when a booster Nevin Shapiro gave improper benefits to dozens of athletes over an eight year period. Now CBS 4 weather. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Karam. We started off the day again on the soggy side, gloomy side as well, and windy, no doubt about that. So as far as the rainfall goes, it's going to be on and off, and for the majority will be light, but of course a nuisance. Also, I got to get to the winds because this is a major factor in our marine forecast. So boaters, listen up. Gale warning is in effect for the Atlantic waters. This includes much of the Atlantic side of the peninsula. A gale watch is in effect for the waters surrounding the Keys, both on the Gulf side and on the Atlantic and Florida Strait side. So that gale warning basically means that sustained winds are going to be over 30 knots. Uh, but wind gusts, what's forecast for the Atlantic Ocean, up to 40 miles per hour. With that said, high surf advisory, certainly not a beach day, certainly not a boating day, because along with the gale warning, there's small craft advisory due to the bays being very rough, seas 6 to 10 feet, occasionally up to 13 feet. And on land, temperatures are going to struggle to warm up because of the cloud cover, the rain, and the wind out of the northeast. So highs today will stay in the mid 70s. We won't get to see much sunshine, maybe just a break in the cloud cover tomorrow, but we're still dealing with the windy conditions out of the east by tomorrow. And the reason why is because there is still that stalled boundary to the south of us, strong high pressure to the north of us, and that's tightening the pressure gradient. That's why it is so windy. This is going to last all weekend long, passing showers for Saturday, otherwise mostly cloudy. Then Sunday, we're watching another area. Low pressure system forms off the Gulf of Mexico. Slow Slides over the Sunshine State late Sunday afternoon into the evening hours. We expect gusty thunderstorms. In fact, there is a threat of isolated strong to severe storms possible on Sunday. You see the green shading, that darker green. That is a marginal level, which means some of the storms isolated in nature will could become severe. So we'll have to keep a tune here. At CBS 4, especially on Sunday due to that severe threat for tonight. Lows in in the lower 70s, a windy night tomorrow, mostly cloudy, stays windy again, highs struggling to get into the 80s. So we're going to keep the temperatures in the upper 70s. Monday still breezy, but finally we start to dry things out, especially later Monday by Christmas Eve. Nice and sunny Christmas Day, also nice and sunny with a nice cool breeze. Jennifer, thank you. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.